Welcome back. Helmets are designed to prevent skull fracture and to slow down the jelly mass of your brain so it doesn't tear itself apart on impact. But there are limits. Humans are fragile. Now let's go find out how they work. A properly fitting helmet is your best choice to protect from serious or even fatal head injury. In fact, a head injury is the most common cause of death for motorcyclists. Helmets are most effective at neutralising glancing blows rather than dead stop impacts. Thankfully, glancing blows are the norm in crashes. But if you ran full tilt at a telephone pole, you would exceed the engineering limitations of even the very best helmet. What we do know from the best studies is that in the event of a crash, a motorcycle helmet will reduce your risk of death by 42% and reduce the risk of head injury by 69%. Here's a breakdown of the areas on a helmet most often damaged in a crash. Studies have shown three quarters of impact damage happens on the front of helmets. The front, visor and chin bar areas get the most damage, which means over a third of all head injuries, primarily to the face, would not be covered by an open face compared to a full face helmet. This rises to almost 40% for a half shell. Standards and impact testing of all helmet types is incredibly important. We visited Crash Lab in Sydney to better understand the tests they do. The outer shell is the first line of protection. It works with the strap to keep the helmet on your head. It will flex in a crash and may crack. The inner impact absorption layer is the critical stage of defence. It's made up of EPS, better known as expanded polystyrene. The density and thickness of the EPS makes a huge difference to how well it cushions your brain. Newer helmets have low density EPS against your head and harder EPS against the shell, so a relatively minor impact doesn't give you a concussion. The strap is critical for keeping the helmet on your head in a crash. Helmets come off in around 11% of all crashes, which is frightening. This can also happen if the helmet is too big, even when the strap is done up. Proper fit is essential for effective protection. I mean, it really is just conveying that a motorcycle helmet's going to stop your brain from bouncing around inside your skull when you have a crash. Head injuries are horrible things, from mild concussions to death. All public health studies tell us that wearing a helmet improves your survival odds significantly. Systematic reviews like the study that we did can't tell you which particular helmets are the best helmets to wear. But if you're wearing a helmet that fits you correctly and is appropriately standard certified, that's going to give you the best protection in the event of a crash. So do yourself a favour and wear one. You know it makes sense. <laughs>